Now, here's your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Well, a statewide moderate snowfall is likely shovels and plows required as well. Quiet for now, but things really start to change later this evening, overnight and right on through tomorrow morning. So let's get started with just cloudy, dry skies in Providence. Again, running any last minute errands uh, now through at least eight o'clock this evening, nine o'clock looking OK. But after that, the snow starts to uh, pick up, but uh, we are dry for now. Looking at temperatures that are generally in the low to mid 30s, 32 Boroughville, looking at 33 Providence in New Bedford checking in at 31. It's not super cold, but it is cold enough to support most of this precipitation. I would say 80% of it in the form of accumulating snow. So what kind of storm is it in terms of the winter storm index? How would we categorize this on a scale from marginal, slight, moderate, major, and extreme? Uh, at least moderate. I mean, we're talking four, five, six, seven inches of snow. In fact, we've only had 5.7 for the entire winter, so we're making up for lost time. I do expect some pretty big impacts for the morning commute tomorrow. Don't crowd the plows, but give them some space. But uh, poor travel, poor visibility. I mean, the roads have been pre-treated, which is good because initially when it snows, it actually melts on the pavement. But once we start to get some heavier snow, it may start to overcome some of that pre-treatment. But bottom line, slow travel. Be careful, especially during the early morning hours. Our threat tracker, certainly after 9, 10 o'clock this evening, is elevated and right on through tomorrow, especially during the morning. Better actually tomorrow afternoon. The snow is much, much lighter and even better by tomorrow evening and into tomorrow night. Leading edge of the precipitation approaching New York City right now. Main uh, main storm center near Chicago will actually track to our north. But the reason why we're still forecasting accumulating snow a second storm is going to form off the uh, mid-Atlantic coastline. That'll be the primary one that'll help to enhance some of the precipitation later tonight and into Tuesday. So we're getting real close. So we'll step you through it hour by hour. Watch the time bar. Just gray skies and dry early in the evening. The blue represents the snow, and here's the leading edge by 9, 10 o'clock in the evening. The darker blue actually indicates moderate to heavy snow. And that's occurring overnight while we're sleeping through at least mid morning. Here we are at 7 a.m. coming down at a pretty good clip. Bad timing here, obviously, for the morning commute. Now, during the afternoon, two things will happen. The snow should be much, much lighter. And you see some of this green. There may be a little bit of rain mixing in. Uh, especially south of Providence during the afternoon. But by that time, the bulk of the accumulations have already occurred. Uh, much lighter precipitation, kind of a mix of light snow and rain, four or five o'clock in the evening. And then by eight o'clock tomorrow night, it is drying out. In fact, you can start to see some partial clearing by 11 o'clock tomorrow evening. How much snow? Now, th these numbers will be realized by, I would say, mid-morning. But statewide, it is a general four to as much as seven inches of snow. This is probably the more difficult part of the forecast is this area right in here. But southeastern mass uh, from Taunton to New Bedford, generally two to four. Though at this point for both uh, Taunton, I'm leaning more towards, you know, four, maybe even borderline five. I mean, look how close this pink area is to Taunton. As far as the two to four for New Bedford right now, leaning more towards four inches. And then the amounts uh, less as you get out towards um, uh, the outer cape. So initially dry this evening and then later in the evening looking at that precipitation work in working in boy take it slow tomorrow extra travel time but moderate to heavy snow is likely uh, during the morning and then it becomes uh, lighter during the afternoon with a little bit of rain mixing in uh, temperatures in the middle 30. I do expect the roads to be much better the second half of the day, even though we'll still have uh, some lingering precipitation. Seven day forecast shows that mess overnight through tomorrow, especially in the morning. Uh, not bad for Wednesday, and then we're bringing some rain showers of all things on Thursday, not snow, though another wintry mix is potential by the end of the week, later Friday and into Saturday. But, you know, decent amount of snow considering where we've been all winter long. Again, statewide, four to as much as seven. A lot of schools, distance learning, no school tomorrow. We've got it running at the bottom of your screen, but you expected that. Yeah, and WPRI.com, a ton of information. Right, Tony, thanks. Yep. It's coming out tonight at 10 and 11. Our coverage continues of the approaching winter storm. Tony told you about the latest on efforts to keep the roads clear as the first snow starts falling.